This episode of the podcast is brought to you by Gamefly. That's right, we got another sponsor. Gamefly has over 8,000 new releases of classics available for pretty much every single console available. This is basically the best deal if you're a gamer on a budget. For a, a low monthly fee, they will send you a game basically to rent, and then when you're done playing it, you send it back and they'll send you another one, whatever's on your list. And there's never any late fees as long as you're obviously paying for the service. So it works out pretty great. You can also get Blu-rays and DVDs on there as well. So I would highly recommend it if you play one game at a time. And I think they also have other types of deals where you can get more than one at a time. So it's pretty sweet. And if you go to GameflyOffer.com forward slash be then BTI, you will get a free 30 day trial. So it's pretty sweet. You get to try it for free. So once again, it's a GameflyOffer.com forward slash be then BTI. And now on with the show. What's up, folks? It's the Acid Cast. Be back in this bitch. It's been like a good month or so. Yeah, man, it's been a while. It's been a minute. Yeah, it's been too busy because I wanted to kind of cut back on the after, the before and after cast stuff, so I can focus on other things like the fucking my review of Batman Telltale because editing editing videos is not that easy, folks. It's not really that fucking easy. It's very time consuming and like. A five minute video can take two hours fucking to edit and put together and shit like that. I guess it depends on the software as well. But you're using a free stuff, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm actually yeah, looking into buying, stuff. like, stuff like stuff you pay for. Mm, there might be ways around that too, right? I mean, there's I'm ways. There's always. There's always a way. For sure. But I don't want, like, I don't want for, I, I don't want it to be, like, successful. And then all of a sudden, they're like, hey, you know, we don't see you having a license for Adobe Premiere. Uh, we're going to take all your fucking profit, and we're going to take your title of your show. So I've taken a class to be, like, um... Are you taking an online class? No, no, this is, um... I used to work for a company that did, like, software licensing and stuff like that. So, like, if a company got audited, like, our company is the one they reach out to to check to see if you should have enough license. But I had to take a... It's called SIS. I can't remember what this test for. But, uh, yeah, so, like, basically, so, quick little lesson. If you own a company, and say you're using Microsoft Excel to keep track of the money you're making and stuff like that, right? Or, no, say you're doing, like, you're, you're a tax company, and using Excel to, like, kind of help people, like, do their taxes or something like that. So, your business is based off this Excel spreadsheet that you're running. So, if you're using a legal copy of Excel, and Excel or Microsoft finds out, they can take everything that your company is about. Because your company wouldn't exist without their software, so your company is their software, and again, they can take your whole entire fucking shit. I mean. And this is shit I learned. This ain't no speculation. I call that. And then they can sue you for it too. On, on top, top of, of your, on, them, on top, on top of taking your fucking company. On top of, t- on top of taking your, technically it's your. Well, I don't want to say totally totally totally. Company, but it is your revenue, your livelihood, your yeah. customer information, which is supposed, to, which could be confidential. But then Microsoft, oh no, you, you own it. Shit, yeah. But that's if you're using an illegal copy. Yeah, but if you're using like, so say you have a license for 20 computers, but then all of a sudden you, you hire somebody new and you only have 21 now, you have 21 laptops or computers, but you have a license for 20 of them, they can come in here and find you like crazy. It's all bad. But it's all like, somebody's got like snitch on you. Yeah, I guess it's true. That's well, it's it. weird because I have a free copy of Office, so I got it from school. Well, it's different for there's like different styles of license. So there's like yeah. enterprise and off like home versions. So oh. yeah, we just ran. We just did something partially illegal, but you did. You <laughs> well, I mean, I'm black too, so I'm like arrested too. Like wait, wait, wait a minute. Yeah. What's that camera for? That's what happens. Take him down, nigga. Oh damn. Kill him down, nigga. Yeah. You shot. Then they go right there. Oh yeah. Doesn't look like a freeway accident. So man, you watch that new Supergirl? I did, but I want to kind of save the review for the cast. But wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Are you talking about the fappening Supergirl <laughs> or the episode of fucking Supergirl? I have a thing. <laughs> you had to think about it, girl. Wait, wait. Uh. <laughs> that shit, man, I had flapping and stuff. I, that was... See, you know what's fucked up is that, okay. Wait, wait. Danny, when you're editing this video, this episode's going to be called Supergirl the Flappany. Now go ahead. Beep. Okay, <laughs> uh... So, in her fabbing photos, it looks like there's either one of two things. One, someone, 
there's a third party in the room taking pictures for them or they put up a timer or like one of those re uh, a remote to take pictures with so I was like um because it really does look like her and these are like yeah. not R-rated pictures these are X-rated pictures like, like you see the guy with her like going deep inside her in doggy style position him inside of her yeah the like, colleague's too good to be a uh, uh, amateur shit well, no, I mean, I mean, she, it could be fake. No, but it could be fake. But I mean, Project Mayhem, who runs um, Art of the Con, he has an XR, XLR camera, so it's viable. You can buy a camera. Oh yeah. You yeah. can also do a cell phone actually. With, yeah, cell phone. With take really cell phone quality take decent quality pictures. There you go. But but either like, if, but either one, it, it could be fake. But it's weird because. Well, you saw the video that was posted in our private group. Yeah. There's a... Uh, you can Google this shit. Yeah, so she's on it. Melissa Benoist is on... Beautiful girl. She's on uh, a couple episodes of the show Homeland. In that show, she's topless for like a good like six, seven minutes where she's giving an interview. It's like she's doing an interview to be inside of this guy's harem. And you can tell her breasts are lopsided. Now, in her fappening pictures, you can see the same kind of lopsidedness. So it really does look like her, or someone's really, really good at Photoshop. Or fucking really good at editing video. Yeah, well... I, I mean, mean, I guess it's just one. It could be video that they took stills in. We don't know. All right, so back to the show. Some girl uh, of the show. I mean, the girl's hot. She's very beautiful. She's and cute. I'm, I'm really glad to see the, the stuff that I've seen. But the show, so far, there's been one episode I've released. A Supergirl. Wait, what? What did you, what did you think of Supergirl? The first that's the, the first episode of the After the After Rain. But this was the one that um what's the name? It directed right. This is by directed by Kevin Smith. Yeah, Kevin Smith. His daughter is prominently oh shit in the show. What was her daughter? The the, the girl that the, uh, saving the one that she goes on the search for. Okay, that's oh. Kevin Smith's daughter. It's so, Harley Quinn. Smith? Harley Quinn Smith. Oh is shit. His daughter. I'm gonna watch the episode again. I still have it on my DVR. You didn't watch all of it? No, yeah. I watched all of it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch it again. Oh, yeah. Harley Quinn Smith. It's weird because, well, the mom, she's a brunette and she's looking for her dad, her daughter. They don't look anything alike, but, oh, you know, so. but you can tell. And, like, it's funny because, like, you, when you see Harley Quinn, you're like, oh, that's Kevin Smith's daughter. I've and never she seen has a lot of life. You've never seen She's actually in a movie. Yeah, I've never seen She's her in before. a movie with another famous daughter. I've I never seen her before in, like, new. She was. Yeah. Well, I like I know I know what Zelda Williams looked like. Why Robin Robin Williams' Robin. daughter? See, Zelda's cute though. Yeah, but she's like I've seen her a bunch of times. How would you seen her a bunch of times? She's been on like talk shows. She's been on interviews with her dad. I've like, hardly seen her. The only time I really seen her was in her, the Zelda the Zelda 3DS commercials. That's the only I knew who she was when she was younger, but I hadn't seen her as an adult. Mm. And so she lives in the Bay. Yeah. Like she lives in Tipperon. Like I know the I know where I'm Robert Williams' house is. A lot of people do. They yeah. leave uh, so the, every year they leave on his either his birthday or the day of his death. They leave like flowers and stuff. Apparently, it's super overwhelming for her. I, don't, I think she might have asked fans to stop. But I mean, that's gotta be fucking hard. Like it always is hard, but her her she has to know that her dad touched the lives of a lot of people. He helped a lot of people. Yeah. And he inspired a lot of people. She so. should just go on like vacation, kind of be away did. from the house. And have somebody else take care of all that. I think she did for a minute, but it's still rough. I mean, it's her dad. All right, so back anyway, to Supergirl. Back to Supergirl. So Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith's daughter's in it. He directed this episode. He does direct some of the Flash and the Arrow. First. He has directed the Flash, not the Arrow, mm. which is weird because. Wait for it. It'll come back. What? No, I'm saying that uh, he would direct something in the Arrow first. Well, what's weird is that Arrow. He, because of Kevin Smith. Green Arrow was revitalized because of him. Like, before, really? no one gave a shit. And, like, they were thinking about kind of cutting him or killing him or whatever. Kevin Smith came in, wrote a graphic novel that kind of fixed all the issues with Green Arrow, and that put him back on the map. And it made him popular again. Yeah, Because I mean, everyone knew who Kevin Smith was. And they still sell that now. Yeah. Like, Kevin Smith, like, I mean, not Kevin Smith. Like, Green Arrow is, like, one of those character, those combo characters that's not, he's, like, a... 
or C list combo character. He was, but I think but he's, he's elevated. Not, yeah, he's, he's definitely like an A lister. Especially with the with the DC world, like the uh, with the TV show, it really boosted his character. Yeah, but I personally, I I think it's really because when Kevin Smith came in and wrote that graphic novel, and he subsequently wrote several different story arcs mm. for Green Arrow. And yet he has not directed an Arrow episode. Give it time. He, he did a Flash and a Supergirl. He's done really so, high rated shows. So he's done two Supergirl episodes. Yes, he did. And the then one. he's also doing. Oh no no no! He's done one Supergirl episode. Two flashes. He's done two Flashes. And I know the one. So it's the episode of Flash where he goes into the Speed Force. That's Kevin Smith. That's Kevin Smith. His and then, other episode has not aired yet yeah. that I know of. And that was a good episode. Unless his episode was last night, which I don't think it was. But I know he's directed a season, a current season episode of Flash. Yeah. I'm waiting for him to do Green Arrow. He's probably going to want to write Green Arrow. Wait, did he do it? He's also got Lena tomorrow he can run around with, too. I don't think he's done Legends yet. I mean, but he, that's like the, the, the next option he can do. Uh, it is, but I'm not so sure if he's really that interested in those characters. He might. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, he can but do something more, cool with him, like the, the characters ending up going to like another dimension of a world that they supposedly changed. Or he did, could. Or they weren't successful by it. That'd be a good episode. He could. I mean, it, he's written for comics. He's directed for both the TV screen. He's directed movies. Everybody loves him. Loves him. Um, it's funny because the episode of Supergirl is titled Supergirl Lives, which is a play on Superman Lives, no. which he had written a script for. Uh, he wrote one dra- a draft of it before they scrapped the whole movie. And it's, it's like one of I know I don't know if it was you that was telling me about the whole documentary about Superman Lives. There's a documentary about how the making of Superman Lives. Tim Burton was going to direct Superman Lives. They casted Nicolas Cage as Superman. Oh, they that... built sets in Philadelphia and literally pulled the production a day before they were going to start filming. Damn. And there's a whole documentary. So that's why that's, that's why there's that picture of uh, Nicholas Cage and Superman, Superman. Yes, because uh, I don't think they did promos of him in the suit. Thank God. It's but they were, yeah, but they, Tim Burton had Nick Nicholas Cage casted as Superman. Uh, you can read. I actually have a copy, a digital copy of Kevin Smith's uh, script for Superman Lives, which is famous because it got leaked online and everybody was going over it. Um, it was where uh, it was literally I guess it was taking place after Superman had died he came back and Brainiac was attacking Metropolis but Superman was like trying to rekindle his relationship with Lois trying to fast yeah so it was like that's how that's as far as I got in the script I didn't read all of it but it was pretty interesting you don't watch Lucifer huh I do not man that show's so fucking good I do watch Legends of Tomorrow which aired yesterday I haven't watched that new episode yet yeah the new episode is kind of interesting yeah cause it used to be on uh, Thursdays but now it's on now it's on Tuesdays, Tuesdays. that's a whole fucking two day right jump at, yeah it's right after The Flash which is great because it makes it easier for us to talk on, talk about it on the podcast cause it just recently happened it just recently happened that is true and it's funny the most recent episode of uh, Legends of Tomorrow is all about George Lucas like, at first, it's about one thing, but they literally focus on George Lucas, like, super heavily. And it's the funniest thing ever. What time period did they go into? They go to the 60s, like, the late uh, 60s. And it's during the time when George Lucas is at uh, USC. So he's, like, doing, uh, I show us the movie. He so he's actually, like, he's an assistant on Rip Hunter's film. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. That's right, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah so Rip, Rip Hunter is doing movies... So it actually is so. Sorry, spoiler. Yeah. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> Wait, what? What do you mean? The Rick, Rick Hunter's the actual director. Oh. Because they, they kind of, uh, imp- last season at the end, they implied that he's the, the, the director. He's a director. You have to, if you haven't seen the episode, you're going to watch it. And so it's like fucking a director within a director. He's uh, a director. He's trying to direct a, so Rip Hunter in Legends of Tomorrow is directing a movie about his quote unquote previous life. La, 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 la. <laughs> I mean so I kinda got that that's impression as, when that's I as far happened. as I'm gonna take it. Yeah, I mean all you're, all you're just all you're doing is just confirming what I was spec- speculating last season. Which was you know, no that it was Rick Hunter at the end. At the end of the Oh they oh, show him. Yeah they show him but it wasn't like is it him or is it like uh, like a person who doesn't know that he's him? You have to watch the episode. 
but I don't give it too much weight. There's a little. Say that. All I know is that Sarah Lance looks good in any era. All right, so we got only a few minutes left. So we should like, are you? I didn't watch this recent episode of uh, Agents of Shield. But well, the last I did episodes not. been really good, man. Has it been two episodes? I think it's the third episode that just came on tonight. Oh shit! We because the, so the first one was like after what happened last season with uh, the robot chick with Ada. Oh, that's, that's right. So the first episode was about Ada, the life model decoy, mm -hmm. who ends up trying to steal the book, the, the weird book. ass book, the e e Economicon. No, yeah, like, it's <laughs> not the Economicon. <laughs> Uh, she's trying to steal a book, and then you find out that May is like captured and like yeah. being held up and shit. Is no, it? she's like she's fucking like in a coma. And she's in, the, well, she's some shit. so she's stuck. No, she's in a shower. She's like in a bathroom being fed like intravenous like nutrients and shit. No, oh, it's just some major shit. Yeah, and then like uh, the life model decoy Ada ends up like attacking the Shield headquarters and yeah. then fucking Mac like decapitate decapitate yeah. her. But you, and it, and it, you, go ahead, go no, ahead. I was gonna say, and you think like everything's fucking cool, but then you're like, you know what? Wait, wait a minute. Like, Asian May, she's in the shower thingy, but she's at fucking Shield. Mm -hmm. Like, what the fuck's going on? And it fucking turns out she's a goddamn android. Yeah, she's a life model decoy. Yeah. And doesn't know it. It doesn't, it's, yeah, it doesn't fucking know it herself. Because she's about to take down Ada, and Ada knows what she is, and then yeah, she shuts so her well, down. It's not today. Oh, it was all bad. But then Mac decapitates Ada, which is pretty crazy. It was hella funny because Mac and his new girlfriend, oh, yeah. uh, Yo Yo, kept talking about how does it. Like why androids, do, like movies and, that yeah, with Android, and, like they always fucking turn on people. Yeah, and they're like, don't they watch 80s movies? Yeah. They list all these fucking yeah, 80s movies. They list Terminator. Terminator, they list like. Oh, they list uh, fucking... Uh, I Am Legends mentioned. Yeah, but they also mentioned the uh, fucking... Oh, uh, they like, talk about Ultron. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they talk well, about fucking Ultron. Like, you saw what happened with fucking New York, right? Yeah, or, they talk about Ultron, but they also list, like, Maximum Overdrive. Oh, yeah, they move... They yeah. TV shows and shit. Yeah, he lists, like... And then, like, super obscure movies, and I was fucking dying. And it's so funny, because they're, like, comparing, like... Like, like, okay, this is why we were making a good fucking couple. Yeah. Because we know, we know our shit. They knew their 80s movies. It was yeah. pretty goddamn funny. And then last week, they kind of, uh, they, they show fucking, uh, what's his name? The Patriot. They tell about how, oh. how he's not a fucking inhuman. Oh, that's right. Yeah. He has fake-ass powers. He's yeah. a fake-ass hero. He's a fucking knockoff Captain America wannabe motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, did you see, uh, fucking... Uh, Coulson shield that oh, he yeah. has. Well, he, it looks exactly like Captain America's yeah. except as a shield envelope. They kind of they showed it last season or earlier in the season two because he he, he was able to use it and he talked about how like um, he thought you know what we're taking that that whole shield thing literally yeah like that. That's so. pretty awesome. So that's as far as I've gotten. Before. That's all. That's as far as I have to watch this week. One. Yeah, I'm gonna watch that. I'm probably gonna watch that and Arrow fucking tonight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, like. I, I'm still trying to watch the yo-yo or slingshot. Shoot, those are, it's literally half an hour. But I, go, I can't fucking find it go, on the... Um, you go to ABC's website. Oh, okay. You go to abcgo.com. And then you select, you need to select Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. On there, it'll tell you about the show. You just click on that, and it shows up a new page. It oh, looks I like, wonder. It looks like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but it says yo-yo. And if then I you can watch the episode. Each episode is five minutes. I wonder if I can just look up Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. on Cody and find those... Um, I don't know. But no, because CW Seeds on there. Like, I was, that's how I was able to watch Vixen. Well, you can... The CW Seeds, it's free. I can watch it on my TV. And you it's can, free on I Cody. I watch it on my TV. I watch it through my Xbox. Well, I can watch it on Cody with the well, Just not do anything. All right, folks. We're here at the... Lights are off. <laughs> we're off in the blue base. Blue cabin. Blue ca cave. Blue cave. Blue spot. Um, thanks for watching. Um... If you like what you saw, make sure to hit and smash that like and subscribe button. Smash! It's over there. Whatever, yeah, over smash! There. Smash! Um, <laughs> definitely check out the videos from tonight's podcast. And until next time, peace out!